morning. Uh, let, this talk is entitled Basic MRI for Dummies Like Me. After this lecture, hopefully you will be able to answer the following five questions. Number one, this graph shows T1 or T2 relaxation time. Number two, what are the TR and TE properties to create this image? Numbers 3 to 5, matching time. What pulse sequences do these diagrams represent? We have three parts to this lecture. The first part uh, covers a brief overview or a brief review of the basics. In MRI, we use the term protons to represent the hydrogen nuclei. Hydrogen is used because it's abundant in the body. There's one hydrogen atom per molecule of water and many hydrogen atoms per molecule of fat. Now, just a review of our high school math. We have our x-axis, y-axis, and this represents the transverse plane. We may consider our third axis, the z-axis, we now have a longitudinal plane in this direction. So these tiny protons would spin in their own axis just like tiny earths. So this would sp uh, spin this way. The way they spin here is called their ang angular precession or how they wobble. Now, different protons would spin in with varying directions. So, they spin this way, that way, that way, and that way. However, if you put them in a magnetic field, they will align. They will align with the magnet and wobble or precess in the same direction, producing a net magnetization in the same direction of the magnet. So, they will like uh, stand in attention. In the presence of a magnet. Now let's imagine that this highlighter is the proton. It spins this way in the same direction of the magnet in the z-axis. So it's spinning this way. Since this is the longitudinal axis, we will refer to this as the longitudinal magnetization. At this point, does this uh, proton have a transverse magnetization this way? There is none. Now what will happen to this proton if we hit it with a 90 degree RF pulse or an excitation pulse? 